Hello and welcome to another episode of the Digital Painter Vidcast. My name is Terry Danich Kimiak II. I'm the Digital Painter, and I have nothing witty to say today. All right, we are back talking about Procreate for the iPad. If you don't already have Procreate for the iPad, stop watching this video and go get it. Unless you're thinking about buying Procreate, then think about it, purchase it, and come watch this video. Procreate's awesome. All right, enough of that. What we're going to be talking today about is one of the cool features that they've included in their latest major update, which is the ability to create your own canvas size, use whatever type of measurements you like to use, and then save it as a preset, which is awesome. All right, so here we are in the gallery of Procreate, and you can see a lot of my old, you know, sketches and things like that. What we're going to do is we're going to hit the plus sign. Boom. That means we're adding something. Yes, plus means add. Now you'll see that there's some already sized uh, sizes, already sized sizes in here because I can't speak English. What you'll see is that you've got some presets already available, your square, your 4K, etc. What we're going to do is we're going to add some of our own. And you'll see right now at the bottom, I've got 5x7 portrait. That's one that I've made and it's a size I like to use, 5x7 or 7x5, etc. So to create a new one, what you're going to do is click New Canvas, Boom. And here you have a new custom canvas size. So the first thing you need to be aware of, in the bottom, on the left, you'll notice millimeters, centimeters, inches, and pixels. All right? I like to use either millimeters, inches, or pixels. I'm not a centimeter guy. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to do inches today. Now you'll notice immediately that my maximum layers is invalid. It's because I actually haven't changed anything. And what we're going to do is we're going to do an 8 by 10 landscape. That's a size that I like to use when I'm working. So we'll do 8, 10 by 8. So it's 10 inches wide, 8 inches tall. We're doing 300 DPI, which is a pretty good DPI if you're going to be printing it. Okay. If you're just doing for the web, I suggest you go to 72 DPI. When you change the DPI, what it does is it changes the maximum number of layers you have. So you'll notice right now I have nine. If I switch that to 72, all of a sudden I have 128 layers. Now, truth be told, all I need is those nine because usually if I'm doing something like this, it's something I'm going to be printing out. I'm not going to be using a bunch of layers. I'll be combining layers as I go along. Okay. So what we want to do next is we actually want to click the untitled and then you can label it. So I'm going to label mine an eight by 10. And because this is a landscape, I'm going to say landscape. Boom. And I'm going to click done. Now it went directly to it. You can see there my eight by 10 landscape, but What's really awesome is if you go back to the gallery and hit the plus, there is my 8x10 landscape. Boom! Loving it. Now, you notice my 5x7 portrait has a big X instead of a small X. Now, most people that wouldn't bother. Me, it's going to drive me crazy. So, how do I get rid of a preset that's already there? If you slide your preset to the right, you can edit it and you can delete it. Well, let's click the edit. And we'll go straight into the name. And we'll call it five by, oops, one too many spaces. There we go, by seven. We need to change our width back to five. And again, this is a portrait because our height is taller. So we'll call it portrait. And then click done. And so now we have a 5 by 7 portrait and an 8 by 10 landscape. So as you're working through, if it's something that you want to do, well, you just click on it. And there it is in the correct dimensions. Go back to gallery. A reminder to delete any of these canvases that you have. If you slide the canvas to the left, you can indeed delete these. So I'm going to delete these that I've just created. So again, if I'm printing something, I'm using those sizes. But say you're doing something for the web. Say you're creating 
a background for your screen, a wallpaper. So let's do a new canvas and we'll do, we'll leave it in pixels this time. We'll do 1980 wide, 1020, and all we need is 72. We'll call this our Actually, let's call it computer wallpaper. Now, notice it didn't save. Well, what did I just do? I hit outside the box rather than hitting done. This is a mistake I've made a couple times, so I kind of wanted to show you that. Again, so we come back into this. We go 1920 wide by... 1080 and 72. Notice we get 44, uh, 44 maximum layers there. And then again, we'll call this computer wallpaper. Again, don't hit out in the open. You want to click done so that here it is. You can create your computer wallpaper for your desktop and make it look pretty. And if you wanted to do it again, it is there as well. And you can just keep making these and making these. And then if there are ones that you don't use, don't use them. Now, notice that up here we have A4. For those that may not know, there are sizes such as the A4 sizes. These are, um, these are sizes that are... Uh, Oi, my English... And they're sizes that you can readily purchase your paper in, okay? So if you're doing natural media art, A4 is a certain size, uh, which it says there is 210 by 297. So, for example, your A3 print size uh, is a different one. It's 29.7 by 42.0 uh, centimeters. Um, I don't have it in millimeters right here. I just have it in the, the centimeters. Um but uh, so, oh, here it is. So your A3 is 297 by 420 millimeters. So these are paper sizes, okay? And uh, it's important to understand that uh, if you're going to be printing, if you're going through somebody who's going to print it, you'll want to know what size paper they have so that you create your sizes on here at the same or slightly uh, smaller uh, if they're going to leave a border around it. All right, that's it for this week. It was very quick. You now have a way to create your own canvas sizes. This is huge, or at least it's huge to me. I think it's amazing. So use it, create your canvas sizes. You don't have to worry about it in the future. You just click a button, boom, your canvas size is there. All right, I hope you take care of yourself and keep on painting. <laughs>